Welcome to Tank Time with Tom. I'm here with Stella, our seven month old puppy. Well, we got Stella when she was about seven weeks old and without care and feeding, she may not have been this healthy or happy or cute. So can you imagine what would happen if we didn't take care of our tank and provide a safe, healthy environment for those steelhead fry? or even the eggs. I mean, the eggs may not even have hatched if we weren't really careful about what we did in taking care and setting up this tank. So we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look inside the tank. And I have this cool GoPro camera that Ethan loaned us so we could dunk it into the tank and get a closer look at the fry. So um, let's go in. Take a look and see what we've got. Right, here we are, we're just about to go into the tank and you can see this chiller, this Novatec water chiller is really critical. You can see the water coming out here. Now this is what is keeping the tank in a safe, cool environment. Um, the water temperatures are hovering in the low 50s. Um, anywhere from 45 at a minimum, don't want it to get any colder than that, up to 55 uh, for, for teachers is, is, is reasonable. But we've been in the, in the low 50s, which is absolutely perfect. You can see we've got clean water. That's super critical for their habitat. If it was full of dirt and sediment and silt, uh, they wouldn't have as much oxygen. They, they wouldn't do well. They, they might, might even die. So we're providing a, a perfect environment here. You can see here we've got shelter. Look at all those fry hiding behind those rocks. And that is one view we cannot see from the outside. Going behind the rocks. Just amazing to see how many are in there. How many do you think are hiding back there? A lot. So we've got gravel. We've got an underwater filter that pulls water from the bottom and cycles it up. So, so they're getting a lot of recycling water that's cold and fresh. And with it spilling into the top, we get some oxygen, which, which is really key for their habitat. But the rocks provide shelter and sometimes they just go in there and they instinctively want to hide. And it's important that when we first set the tank up, it's a nice level area. It's sturdy because this thing weighs a lot. It might, might weigh 100 pounds with all the water and rocks and all the equipment on there. So you got to make sure it's a sturdy, sturdy platform, that it's safe from predators. Hopefully, you don't have any hands going in there. We want to make sure that everything is clean. That that goes into this. So we've got to make sure all those parts are clean before we go into the tank. So we're going to pull out of here in just a second, but one last pass. I was trying to get a picture of the camera here from the outside, but I didn't, I didn't see it. And we're coming out. That is it. Pretty cool. There's the, there's the spillway for that chiller. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.